Hi there, I'm Alex from Practically Speaking. In case you haven't clicked on one of the uh, one of my videos before, I help leaders speak. I help with executive presence, public speaking, and storytelling skills. Basically, all things communication. And today, I'm talking about webinars. I wrote about webinars in the blog this week, and I want to give you one extra tip to help your webinars go so much more smoothly. Because I don't know about you. I don't know how many webinars you've sat through where, you know, there's just all kinds of annoying things going on. Somebody hasn't turned off their microphone. Someone has got all their bells and wills, you know, whistles and dings going on their computer, or they've got their video turned on and you can clearly see them like looking at other screens or, or doing all kinds of weird stuff. People do weird stuff on webinars and we've got, we've got to help them. We've got to help make it stop. So here is my go-to tip to help you make your webinar go ever so much smoother. And that is take time before you start the webinar to remind people what to do. If people need to turn off their microphones, remind them to turn off their microphones. If people need to turn off or on their cameras, remind them to do so. Remind them of the best practices for behavior. Hey, I'm going to be asking you questions, so please pay attention. Close your other browsers out. This is really going to help you. But set clear expectations for what you want the people who are in your virtual room doing just like you would do it if the people were right there in front of you. It doesn't have to be different just because it's a webinar. And really, your stuff is so important. You want people paying attention to it. So set them up for success at the beginning. I think about it's like when you go to the movie theater and they tell you in 17 different ways, generally through m and characters, uh, to turn off your cell phone. It's a reminder. We all need it because we're human. We forget. We go sliding into a webinar at the, the very last minute. We need that reminder so you can be an amazing webinar host or hostess by helping your participants from the get-go. Tell them what they need to do to make the experience user-friendly, not just for themselves, but for everyone. Thank you. For taking the time to listen to this. If you missed my blog and want to read three ways to make your webinar um, so much more engaging, I'm going to drop that in the comments for you below. If you're watching this and you have never seen me before and you're like, oh, who is this chick and what does she do? Uh, I'm going to drop the link to my website. You definitely want to check that out. And I also I put this together in a newsletter format. I would love to have you join my list and come alongside me throughout all of my adventures in public speaking, executive presence, and storytelling. I appreciate your time today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next week. See ya. Bye.